What happens to old airplanes? How are planes decommissioned the afterlife of retired aircraft? Many of us have seen photos of collections of aircraft stored in graveyards in the desert. While this is likely the final resting place of most aircraft, retirement is not as simple as just sending them there. Aircraft are expensive assets, and even after retirement, there is plenty of value in most. Today, we will take a look at the options of old planes. Let's get starting it. What makes an airplane age? An airplane's age is usually measured by pressurization cycles. An airplane is pressurized every time it takes flight, inflicting stress on fuselage and wings. That is why, contrary to popular belief, short-haul airplanes age faster than long-haul airplanes. There are maintenance programs designed by airplane manufacturers that determine if some of the airplane's components have become weary by pressurization. These parts should then be replaced. If the whole airplane has become overfatigued, it should be retired. When do airplanes actually retire? Of course, no one waits for an airline to become overfatigued. Many airplanes don't even reach old age. Even though the lifespan of an airplane is around 25 to 30 years, most airplanes are dismantled when they reach 18 years old. The decision to disassemble an aircraft and sell the parts usually depends on whether the value of the parts and components is higher than that of the airplane as an aircraft. In the middle of its expected lifespan, most airlines reevaluate the plane. If the cost of running the plane is high, but it is still valuable as an aircraft, it is usually sold to other smaller airlines. If the value of the parts and components is higher, then the whole of the plane is replaced, retired, and dismantled. How many planes have been retired worldwide? The International Air Transport Association, IATA, estimates that around 16,000 commercial passenger and cargo planes have been retired worldwide in the past 35 years. Meanwhile, every year, up to 700 jets are getting closer to the end of their lifespan. An estimation has been made by the UK-based Aerospace Strategy Consultancy, NAVO, that the top four aircraft models most often sent for scrapping between 2020 and 2021 in the wide-body category were Boeing 777-300ERs with an average age of 13.8 years and Airbus A380s around 11 years. In the short-body category, it was the McDonnell Douglas MD-80s, 30.8 years, and the Boeing 737 Classic, 28.9 years. What happens when they retire? When an airplane is no longer operational, it takes a last flight to a storage airport, often called an aircraft graveyard or boneyard. This could be a short-term storage option until a buyer is found or the market improves, or it could be for immediate or slower breakdown and recycling for its parts. The most well-known storage and retirement locations are in the U.S. deserts. There is plenty of space here, and the dry conditions are perfect for the long-term preservation of airframes. Some of the largest facilities include Pinal Air Park and Kingman Municipal Airport in Arizona and Mojave Air and Spaceport and the Southern California Logistics Airport in California. But there are many other locations around the world. These include Alice Springs in Australia, home to Asia-Pacific aircraft storage, Rule Airport in Spain, and Kemble in the UK, home to Air Salvage International. Once an airplane arrives at a storage airport, it is meticulously washed to wash off any salt that may cause corrosion to the exterior. After that, fuel tanks are drained and flushed with lubricant. Tires are then covered in mylar to prevent the sun from deteriorating the rubber, and the top coat is painted in white to deflect the scorching sun rays. They may be kept for a long time for spare parts, as the price and need for these can vary significantly over time, or they can simply be scrapped with parts salvaged and sold as quickly as possible. Some more unusual uses. A select few aircraft avoid the scrap heap and go onto more unusual things. Iconic aircraft may find their way to museums or be put on display. Concorde is, of course, an excellent example of this. 
other aircraft have found new lives as hotels or restaurants. A Boeing 747 has found use as a hotel in Stockholm, for example, and in Costa Rica, you can spend the night in a suite built in the fuselage of a Boeing 727 at the Hotel Costa Verde. And for a real one-off use, take a look at the sunken Boeing 747 in Bahrain. This opened as a new diving spot in 2019.